Hey guys, uh, it's James Butch, and I am here to review uh, Jet Li West on this game. Very good game. Actually, I really do prefer this to people that like Jet Li movies or games, um, which is his actual first game. I actually prefer this, even though it was on the greatest hits for PlayStation 2. I really do. So, um, you may not be able to see it very well, but if you look at my screen close enough, you'll be able to see some gameplay formation of it. Now, the game controls are very, very smooth. They're like a, a basically unique controller that has an R1 button. If you don't have an R1 button, or if it's broken or something, you're fucked. Because you really need it. That's the action button of this game. Which I really do think is retarded because most games have like the AX button being the action button. But whatever. But, um, now, the object of this game is you're gently, you're, um, you're a Hong Kong dude. <laughs> and basically, all, you, all you're doing is just, uh, chasing this one drug drug lord, and you spot off bad guys and everything. Now, there are two types of gameplay things. There's uh, the gun gun gameplay, and there's fighting. I personally like both. Now, but the the uh, gun gameplay has some real. It could be better, but it's still easy enough to get get used to. But the fighting is my favorite part. It's the it's really fun. Now. Hopefully, well, my dog right here is screwing it. Anyway, I now as you can see, you can actually do some action moves with the R1 button. And if you slap the uh, right analog stick towards the enemy, it does like sort of these moves at <laughs> at the enemy, which is very it feels very smooth. I like it. Uh, instead of buttons, you can just use the. Uh, and trust me, you will be using. I played this game a couple of years, so. I used to be pretty good at this game, but then. I don't know what happened. I really don't. But it's a really fun game. I love this game. Now, uh, the gra just for the PS2 graphics, it's not bad. Now, now the sound could be better. But it's not like Prince of Persia sound, because I'm really against that game when it comes to sound. Because it's I don't know it's not how I explain uh, about the Prince of Persia sound. It sounds like it com it's coming off of a portable gaming system, you know, like um, like a PSP or something. Cause that's what it sounds like to me. Even though it's a GameCube game, this is a PS2. I don't know. I just prefer like better sound at least. I mean, like on Res Resident Evil Remake for GameCube, but you see how it has incredible graphics for the GameCube and <laughs> the. Uh, Sound and it's everything about it. It was perfect for a GameCube game, but when it made Prince of Persia, I don't know what, what Ubisoft was thinking. I had now. There's also multi-direction. But the, this game does have a lot of challenge later in the game. It's a lot of challenge. Trust me, it's pretty hard. Now I don't know if you can find this place this game anywhere else because I I got this a couple of years back at Best Buy and it's probably like twenty or ten dollars now. So you can just look for it, but if you're interested, you should really try this game, because I really do prefer it. But some people may think otherwise, but yeah. I mean, look at this. How many games are there when you run along walls, as if when you're Jet Li? There's, not, there's only one Jet Li game, this is it, I think. Don't get, don't get me wrong, I don't know. But I'm going to like, keep going until I get to the shooting part of it. So This is just basically teaching you how to do shit. And since there's also a, uh, you can grab and shit, and it, what it does, if you're in a bridge or something, and you, you can basically grab them and throw them off the bridge, it's pretty funny. Oh yeah. Now the only thing is, it's pretty annoying, because you don't really use any buttons, you don't use the, you don't really use the X button a lot, or the square, I think you use the triangle sometimes, but the circle button pulls up like the HUD diagram, like how to, what it, what it, what it all means. No. Now, the triangle button shows your control, circle, shows your big diagram, square is nothing at all. Now, if you, if, see, people can master it. I've seen people, because I haven't beaten the game yet, but I had to like, start all over, because I couldn't find my memory card. I think that's gone. Fuck it. 
as you can tell, I'm, my throat's a little sore, so I can't really speak very well. Yeah, a lot of bad things happened today. Sucks. <laughs> my Xbox, for my first my Xbox gets a rod. Now I'm stuck to playing the PS2 and the Wii, which I stopped playing the Wii for a while now. I think I kind of got pissed at the game on a Resident Evil Dawn Chronicles, because I can't beat it on hard. I beat, like, the whole Resident Evil Zero part, but it's just a little hard. I find it hard. It's clean the ass. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try again later when I'm not pissed. I only, I forgot all about that I had this game, honestly. And then I pulled out the PS2 and I started looking through my games. So, yeah. That's basically it. Now, let me give a better uh, review now. Just to let you know, it's like pr this is practically a Matrix game, practically. Like, you, let me. Oh, you never mind. I was wrong. Uh, speaking of action games, I was talking about. There's a game on a 360 called John Woo Pre Presents Stranglehold. It's a very. That game is very good. I absolutely love that game. I'm currently trying to beat it, but since my Xbox is like out of commission right now, can't really do much right now. But it's a very, it's a very fun game. You have to get used to the controls, but when, once you get used to them, yeah, it's like, you're gonna love it. I loved it. I absolutely love, love that game. I only got it for twenty bucks. I was smart enough to wait because I got it from GameFly for free. Oh shit! I forgot. I forgot to turn off the uh, stuff. There's stuff when you put. I made the. Damn it! Wow. Why would they make it Japanese? It's an English game. God damn it! What the fuck? Quit speaking Mexican. Asshole, no. Let me go finish. Let me fix this. I forgot. I should have changed the, the language to uh, English instead of Japanese. Hey, fuck it. 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 Go, go. Oh, they don't go. Well, yeah. One year later, and now you're like, uh, dang it. And basically, you're in Hong. Now, first we were in Hong, we're in Hong Kong right now. But later in the game, you go to L, you go to San Francisco, and you have to rescue this girl and shit. So yeah, I'm. This is my first review of the landing thing. So yeah, I'm not very good at reviews, but yeah. I like seeing Asian people argue. It's so funny. Now you can absolutely tell if an a Asian person is bad just by how they're arguing, by how they're talking. And be yelling. That's like a first Spanish person when they speak Spanish. <laughs> they're like so loud, you can just tell they're pissed. It's a haw. It's a haw. And pow, 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 pow. Starts pretty cool. He goes, hi. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what now? I got Jet Li. got pwned by Jet Li. You know. He got his ass whooped. I, I skipped that guy, so. I skipped it so I can just get on through more fighting. I'm trying to show you the gunplay right now. Cause I, I am recording this from like, I'm just broadcasting this from a webcam. So I can't really just pause it and shit. Let me do one thing. When you, when you first get this game, always do this. First thing is um, always have the uh, language. <laughs> shit, what the hell? What the fuck? Um, I could feel me so confused. Confucius say, "Let me save this shit because I'm gonna go back to the main menu. The main menu is pretty cool. You see Jet Li going like that, like doing this awesome karate miss, you know, being Asian. Options. Here we go. Language. Oh, it's Cantonese. Sorry, I was being a little prejudiced. There we go. Hey, I'm gonna load it back." This game is pretty short, but it's pretty hard. Honestly, it is. Yeah, and a lot of this is an old PS2 game. It's like came out in 2004. So I got this five years. Wow, five years ago. Holy crap. I feel pretty old. I was 10 when I got this game. And there's like a special rule. Uh, when you turn on adrenaline mode, you can go into like this awesome like LSD moment. <laughs> Practically, and just beat the shit out of everybody. And now it's in English. Thank you. Now the English sounds pretty good. And you can throw chairs at people. It's funny as shit. I, I laugh at it every time. When they come up and kick me in the face, I go like, Damn it. Asshole. Oh, see, it's just, it's just really satisfying when it goes into slow motion. 